Welcome to Hygiena's instructional video on how to properly use the Zymosnap ALP Positive Control Kit. In this video, we will cover product details, storage and shelf life, control preparation, control testing, and how to establish RLU pass-fail limits. Zymosnap ALP is a rapid test device for the detection of alkaline phosphatase enzymes in milk and milk-based products. High ALP enzyme levels indicate ineffective pasteurization and compromises milk quality. Zymosnap ALP is sensitive enough to measure pasteurization levels below the regulatory level of 350 milliunits per liter. A positive and negative control should be run initially to establish a fail RLU level, then monthly for confirmation and with each new manufacturing lot of Zymosnap ALP test devices. The positive control kit for Zymosnap ALP devices consists of five vials of 350 milliunit per liter of ALP. This is the globally recognized regulatory maximum for ALP levels in pasteurized milk products. The positive control confirms the functionality of the test devices and determines a fail RLU level for operational testing. The negative control will provide a background reading that can be used as a baseline. Based on example one in the kit insert, the positive control kit determined the pass-fail limit as 150 RLU. Therefore, any score higher than 150 RLUs is a fail, and any RLU score less than 150 is a pass. Please note that this data is for example only. Each type of milk requires its own fail RLU level to be determined independently. Zymosnap ALP test devices and positive controls have a 12-month shelf life and should be kept in cold storage. The materials you will need include the Ensure Luminometer, a dry block incubator or water bath set at 95 degrees Celsius for preparation of negative control, an incubator set at 55 degrees Celsius for the test procedure, an ice bath, one milliliter and 75 microliter pipettes with tips, several Zymostap ALP test devices, and a timer of your choice. Here's how the positive control kit works. Step one. Preparing the negative control. Heat the milk sample at greater than or equal to 95 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes to effectively pasteurize the sample. Cool the sample rapidly on an ice bath. Cover the sample and store the sample at refrigerated temperatures for up to 48 hours. Rapid cooling and cold storage is critical to avoid reactivating ALP. The negative control should be used to reconstitute positive control vials for testing. Step 2. Preparing the positive control. Label each positive control kit ALP vial with the milk type to be tested. Carefully remove the metal seal and cap. Pipette 1 milliliter of negative control made from the milk type to be tested into the ALP vial. Replace the cap and shake vigorously for 10 seconds to mix the contents until completely dissolved. The sample may be used immediately or the vial may be stored at refrigerated temperatures for up to 7 days. Be sure to mix the vial vigorously before each use. Step 3. Now we will perform the control testing. Allow 6 Zymosnap ALP test devices to acclimate to room temperature before testing. You will run three replicates from each positive control and negative control sample. Let's start with the negative control testing. Pipette 75 microliters of negative control into the three Zymosnap ALP test devices. Replace the snap valve bulb into the tube. Activate the device by bending the bulb forward and backward to break the snap valve. Squeeze the bulb twice to release the reagent into the tube. Shake and flick the device in downward strokes to ensure all liquid and sample reaches the bottom of the tube. Incubate for 10 minutes at 55 degrees Celsius. Be sure to activate each test device in 30 second intervals so that the light reaction is at its peak immediately after incubation. During incubation time, turn on the luminometer. 
After the incubation time is complete, immediately place the entire device into the Ensure luminometer and press OK to initiate measurement. Be sure to measure the negative control replicate test in 30 second intervals. Record the RLU results. Average the three results and that number is the background RLU level, also referred to as the negative factor. Repeat the same steps for the positive control test. Record the RLU results. Average the three positive control results and that number is the pass-fail RLU limit. For this example, the positive control RLU value of 253 is equivalent to the regulatory limit of 350 millionits per liter of ALP. Next, input the positive control RLU value as both the pass and fail RLU limit into the luminometer for each specific milk type. For example, if the positive control RLU value is 253 RLU for 1% milk, then the luminometer should be programmed as illustrated. To get the most out of your monitoring system and be able to run charts and graphs with your test results, use SureTrend software and sync to your meter. Learn more at Hygiena.com. SimoSnap ALP test devices may be discarded in the trash. This concludes our Hygiena tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on our newest videos. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Hygiena with the information on the screen. With 24-7 customer service and technical support, Hygiena is here to help.